Hello guys, welcome back. Long time no see. For almost a week, I'm on vacation with my family. And a lot of things going on. Been busy. So, my old Redmi Note 3 Pro, the 216 version. Uh, back with me and I will try to play some game on it this one you know let me not 7 and another new one this is the refurbished LG V30 hope to get the update on your Redmi Note 7 MIUI 11 the global stable this is a stable version 11.0.3.0 and my LG V30 already unlocked rooted and install custom ROM this is a 2K e-OLED display actually this is a Korean model LG mv 300 l so I press the 300S version in order to get uh, to boot into custom ROM Still using the XPL from the Korean. <coughs> we'll do some game on this Redmi Note 7 as requested. Poco F1 Also get the uh, MIUI 11 global stable update But still Android 9 Maybe next year we get the uh, Android 10 So far only the flagship phone get the Android 10 MUI 11 like the MI 9 K20 Pro MI 9T Pro so another game on Dolphin Emulator this is the custom build by Wehuya I will give the link below for this emulator and we will test 6 need for speed that are created for we console the first one need for speed nitro need for street for street and need for street carbon these two later on and then need for speed undercover need for speed hot pursuit one, two, three, four, five only. Why I say six? One, two, three, four, five. Five need for speed tests. Okay, the first one. Need for speed nitro. Before that, let's see the setting. CPU at forty percent just to get the nice sound without distortion if you set it at 100 you will get a choppy sound and the graphic at OpenGL we are using open, we can use a Vulkan also but the performance will reduce the stretch 
and the rest are default. Let's go. Need for speed nitro. Almost three weeks. I'm going. So this is my first video on the month of November. The graphic are at one X. Oh, you can see the FPS. Just uh, wait. T L two. Dolphin, dolphin. On screen FPS. Okay, let's begin again. screen did we set it to FPS on screen already alright one more time Some of the game can run at 3x full HD, and some at 1x on this Poco F1. The graphic. Not so bad. If you compare to the PS2 version, I think the we are much better in terms of graphics. Okay, let's skip the thing. Let's begin the game. This one is using a plastic controller to reload the config so you can use the Wii plus nunchuck since it support the classic you might use the classic Wrong corner.
Honey bro. using the classic you can use a Wii remote R for accelerator and the left one for braking for the boost nitros on the B button Okay, not 
the state. Quick race. Drifting, okay. Very hard to control. Oh, jump start. This faster. Oh, dodge. Oh, wow. Now come there faster than me. The sound. Okay. Rem never reach sixty. Five set tunnels. Oh, you made that. That's not fair. Sorry. Lock, lock. This one, the 
game menu almost the same Also okay. Okay. Next one. We post bit hot pursuit. Only don't have the original need post bit uh, one and the need post bit two. That's one only for PS two. This one you can do free roaming around the map. This one also using classic. Okay. 
not moving the left stick. We swing. Control. The stick has a uh, wish wing already configured. The response is very slow. using what it's supposed to be be remote so we have to control for this one This is the swing, swing button. Clear. 
using the tail button left and right Need for speed come on one more time the nunchuck and we remote a button actually left and right clear forward to the left backward to the right let's see to the right. Not very responsive. Something wrong with the emulator actually. breaking ah, this one very good okay that's all five need for speed series we game on Poco F1 wow okay that's it stay tuned for the next video